all right folks so in this video what we will do is we will try to build a reasoning rag with the help of DeepSeq R1 right and the solution that we will build that would be totally hosted in local so in case if you want to turn off your internet and then try out this reasoning rag that should also work right so first of all this is the chat.deepseek.com where you can fire your questions and get the answer using a web interface so that will kind of uh, need the access of the internet but what we will do is we will try to build a reasoning rag with the help of DeepSeek R1 right so whenever you fire a question you will see that the system goes through a thinking process and then it will generate the answer and in case if you ha haven't gone through my last video so there I have discussed what are the inner workings of a DeepSeq R1 model in a very technical term right? so let's get started with today's topic right so to get the model what we will do is we will use Olama so in case of uh, Olama what you need to do is you need to at first do the installation so you can go to this download page and you can select the operating system which uh, you want to use then uh, i'm using windows so i will use this download for windows option then it will download the installer and then you can start doing the installation right so once the installation is done then you can go to the models page and in the models page you can find out the deep seek r1 section and after then you can select the model that you want to download in your system right so you can see that we have a lot of distilled models like 1.5 billion then the 7b then the 8b and the corresponding size which it requires that also it tells you right so i will select this 1.5 billion and then it will give you this command right so you can copy this command and you can go to your terminal and paste the same and then it will at first if you are doing it for the first time so it will download the model from the internet as the installation was done previously so i can straight away start asking the question ask a question what is the role of critic model in case of ppo rl algorithm if you have gone through my last video that one of the algorithm that has been used to train uh, deep seek r1 is the grpo so this grpo kind of eliminates the need of having a critic model and without the need of a critic model the grpo can be trained right so that's why i have asked a question like what is the role of a critic model in case of ppo rl algorithm so you can see at first it will go through the thinking process and it will generate the thought in the think tags then it will generate the answer using a answer tag right so you can see the generation process is quite fast as well as in your local system so now let's get started with how we can build a reasoning rag with the help of DeepSeq r1 right so what we will do is at first we will do the required installations so if you one of the uh, new requirement that we need to have is need to install this langchain olama which will enable us to access the olama hosted local model and then we can start building our uh, rack process right so at first we will do the rack building so so i will skip this part so which uh, typically it goes through a source document then it creates the chunks and the chunk will go through the embedding model and the embeddings will be created and based on that we will populate in the vector db right so then we will create a retriever out of it and we can start testing the retriever right so i'm asking a question tell me about key matrices in transformer so the input document that we have is the document which are related to transformer so based on that we created the rag right so then what we will do is we will do the deep seek r1 model initialization using chat olama so we will import the chat olama in this fashion and after that we will initialize the llm right so you can see uh, we are mentioning that we will use the chat olama then the model is this version which is deep seek r1 1.5 billion then the base url this should remain same in your system also because that is a default url that olama uses then we will mention what is the temperature 
and then we can start firing question right so the question i have asked is why do we need critic model in reinforcement learning then i am passing the question with this lm.invoke and we are getting the content right so here also you can see the system goes through a thinking process so the thinking got uh, enclosed in this thinking tags then it starts generating the answer right so you can see a detailed answer has been generated using this uh, DeepSeq R1 base model. So I can see the distilled model is performing quite well, the 1.5 billion model. So now let's uh, go to the reasoning rack part where at first we will build the retriever chain. So uh, and then what we will do is we can test this retriever chain and we can pass a question like tell me about key matrices in transformer right and we can get the answer using this retrieval chain right so this is what the answer that has been generated using the deep seek r1 model right so you can see in case you are using a reasoning rack there also we will the system will go through a thinking process at first so it will enclose the thinking part in this think tag so you can see one by one it will go through each of the documents right so you can see at first it's looking at the document content so there are several documents listed with their source and page content so at first it will go through the first document then it will go through the second document and in the end the third document it will uh, go through right and based on that it will go through a thinking process and then it will start generating the answer right so this is where the final answer lies and it will go through the thinking process then it will generate the answer right so then let's uh, ask a different question like tell me details of transformer training process so instead of going through the result let's see how the retriever will actually have the contain that is related to this question right so you can see if you go through this deeply so there is no such information that is present in the vector db which can answer the question like what is the details of a transformer training process right so this part of the content which has been retrieved from the vector db that does not contain the actual answer so now let's see how the result looks like right in case of a reasoning rag right so the first it goes through the thinking process where it tries to figure it out like what is the question that it needs to answer given a context then it goes through the documents so it reasons out that the first document tries to understand the transformer architecture of PC knowledge then it goes through what is the second document and the third document goes through and then this is kind of the aha moment which we have also talked about in the last video that uh, it will do a self-reflection then it's uh, giving you an answer that wait maybe I am missing something the question is about the training process details so per perhaps the context isn't answering that so you can understand the reasoning rag goes through several thinking process through which it understands the context which the model is having does not provide the correct context to answer this question right so instead of generating a hallucinated answer so it generates that the context provided does not include the detailed information of transformer training process it focuses on explaining the architecture of the transformer so using that it will not generate a, a hallucinated answer and instead of that it will return to the user saying that the context does not have the correct information right now let's try out this final question which is like tell me about BERT model and based on that it will again go through the thinking steps and it will go through the documents and then it will finally generate an answer using this context that has been provided right so it, you can see like it first talks about the core model then uh, it talks about the application across different tasks then it goes through the task specific focus and finally it's generate a uh, summarized answer using this right so this is uh, the process of how the reasoning rag works so hopefully we will get better answer using this type of reasoning models so with this i will end this video i hope you got a good understanding of a reasoning rag model 
based architecture and how you can leverage to your use case using a fully local model. Thank you. See you in the next video.